Let's break the mold and stop waiting for the other shoe to drop. Let's believe the Minnesota Wild will win it all, giving the state of hockey its cherry on top. Do you see it? The Stanley Cup parading down West 7. We do, and it's glorious. Welcome to Stanley on 7. We're here until it's here. So I know what you're all wondering. What are we doing here today? Well, first off, I'll introduce myself, Ryan Carter. Um, I had the thought as a Minnesota sports fan, somebody that played Minnesota sports, um, what is it like to be a fan here? And it's it's like we have some self-fulfilling prophecy where we're just waiting for the success to fail, like an epic failure. And quite frankly, uh, I'm kind of tired of that. So, I mean, I, I had the idea to, to get a podcast going with some creative folks about um, – breaking the mold, changing some things. Uh, obviously, this team, the wild team, this is a wild podcast. We're going to talk wild things. Um, but the, this team has broken the mold. It's a different group. They're, they're coached differently. They play differently. They're managed differently. Um, so I think as fans and people that consume it, we need to start acting differently too because I think the market around it helps dictate the success on the ice. Um, and I'm tired of waiting for that failure and that – the Minnesota nice to just say, oh, good, I don't have to be invested in these guys anymore. Back to normal life where it's gloomy, it's gray. No, no. Uh, let's make it exciting. And, and that's where I brought in the light, the man, John King. John, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your thoughts on the podcast? Well, I'm John King. I ate lunch at a Freedom gas station. Um, I got a uh, uh, Cheddarwurst. What I, what I was going to bring, I, but I couldn't find the commercial. So you know how they're running the old Suter quick trick spot yeah. where he is buying the frozen meals? Mm -hmm. And he at the end says his favorite one, and he drinks it with a glass of milk. He cooks it in the microwave and drinks the milk. Well, I was going to go get <laughs> that one from Quick Trip and bring it over here, and we were all going to have it, but I, uh, <laughs> uh, I couldn't find it on YouTube. So that'll be something for a future date. Um, I am a weak ankled boy um, from uh, the small town on the west side with the dream. Grew up in Edina. Um, now live in White Bear Lake with Mr. Carter. And Don't tell people where I live. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> just dox them. Um, just try, just look for uh, the shrine. Um, yeah, the sparkle from the shrine. But uh, no, I, I guess my contribution is I would be a sideshow uh, to the state of hockey and have enjoyed um, having some fun with. Um, my 15 minutes of fame, I traded away to grade adolescent boys' hairstyles, um, which seems sort of like an interesting way to use your 15 minutes of fame, but that's what I did. But what I sparked to with this is I am tired of being a loser in Minnesota. I'm tired of feeling British and like people are always cracking eggs on our heads or even when the wild are good, it's like, well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> and uh, and this vision that Ryan painted of Stanley on seventh, of winning the cup and allowing yourself to imagine that we could, that's the first step. And that's kind of why I'm here is let's, let's actually believe and talk about why we believe and go through the ups and downs together. So I'm glad you reached out. Yeah, can you, and it's, uh, it's easy to get excited and we talked about this, Stanley on 7th, until there's a parade on 7th Street. We're going to be here for it. And um, man, we're, I here, just, we're here till it's here. Yeah, we're here till it's here. The parade on 7th Street. So we got this group together. Uh, we got some more pieces. Uh, Zach Halverson, uh, another White Bear guy, founder of mm -hmm. The Horn. Introduce yourself, please. Yeah, go Bears. Um, yeah, I work uh, at the at FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. I also... Uh, do some work for the Minnesota Wild Radio Network, so um, I'm there in this like bunker, essentially running the the audio side of things. And uh, I've obviously been a, a hockey guy my whole life. I played it through uh, junior gold, and um, now I get to cover it. Get to cover it from a media perspective, and um, I get to you know go to a wild game at night and then make uh, you know disgusting jokes on the radio in the morning so I'm, I'm living the dream really <laughs> and you can you can also sit in a chair mm -hmm. cross-legged oh, yeah. very you're, zen like you know you're you're a bigger guy like me and mm -hmm. are you do yoga or what how is this i don't happening? know i've always had really good legs uh i don't know if it's from the hockey 
deal, but uh, I can I can do a lot with my legs. So I cannot do that. I I sleep a lot of times like with my legs crossed. It's the weirdest thing. So that's awesome. <laughs> Another reason for video. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, last but not least, we've got um, it, he's got a fantastic nickname, the Butcher. Um, the white rapper. Yeah, right. I was like, where does where, this come from? Butcher ah, that's right. Yep. No. Uh, Al Freakon, tell us about yourself. Yeah. Um, to go out, build off of what, what Kinger said in terms of kind of the, the sideshow, I think that's a good segue for me in terms of what I'm going to bring um, to this group. I am Alex. A lot of people call me Freakon. I uh, have, love hockey like everyone else here. Um, I have had the pleasure of playing it across the world in some pretty crazy places um i also have made some music videos including one about being from minnesota another one about the city of edina which kinger and i had the pleasure of jamming out on um so a lot of both hockey and music combined into just an awkward being that is myself but when you reached out and and when kinger reached out i think what i like about this idea is building off of what kinger said this notion of like um being frustrated with complacency and accepting this notion of yeah we're not going to win um, that line we're here till it's here I think is cool I like the idea of you know telling a team to stop focusing on heart and effort and start saying things like no we're going to win and if we don't we're going to we're going to feel bad because it pisses us off and I think that attitude change is something that the state needs and you said it yourself too carts when when you're like if you change the attitude of the fan base that creates an environment for winning i mean it starts there